State. Maria Bartiromo, one of the things that comes up is how people day of were voting. Uh, we're, we're told that, the, the, you know, that was favoring uh, President Trump, um, that Republicans are more apt to vote day of of then in advance, like the Biden vote, but, but of course, we don't know. But how does that all sort of layer out? Well, I think it's an important point to make, Neil, because don't forget, for the last several months, President Trump has been telling his base, don't mail it in. You know, don't do absentee, don't do mail-in votes because I don't trust it. So his base is very loyal to him and they didn't. So they waited until election day to go vote. And that is why today's, uh, you know, polling results are so critical and could actually change the, the situation in the middle of the night. Now, you mentioned Florida. This is going to give us probably the most important information early on in terms of where this race heads. The issue in Florida is that there are so many different counties. For example, we know already that President Trump is polling very well with African Americans and Hispanics. That is a two groups that have been favoring the president and they have been outspoken about that. But there's also a lot of swing counties uh, in Florida, home to massive village retirement communities. He has not been polling as well with seniors. So the Florida data is going to give us the earliest indication of where this race is going because of all of these different counties and because it is the day of vote. The president's base definitely waited until today. Now, a word on the market reaction and the market message. Today we had another 500 plus point rally. Yesterday we had another triple digit rally. Right. The message of the market so far is telling you that President Trump gets a second term or Joe Biden wins and they lose the Senate. Uh, the Republicans hold on to the Senate rather and he cannot get those tax increases through. There's no way in my mind that this market rallies because more stimulus is coming. I know that a lot of Wall Street firms have been trying to put a good face on it, saying, oh, you know, this market is rallying even though Biden is in the lead in the polls because it's more stimulus. Not happening, not true. I think the only way we get a rally in stocks in a Biden win is if the Senate is controlled by the Republicans. Florida is going to tell us a lot with the 29 electoral votes. And I think the night is young. We've got a lot of information to see in order to really get a, uh, get a sense of where this is going. Later on in the show, I want to share with you what I've learned in terms of the cabinets, what Wall Street is betting on, who might be Treasury Secretary on both scenarios, and what the cabinet look, is looking like, because certainly on both sides, they are talking about who they're bringing in and who's leaving if it is a Trump win.